Hey, I'm live. Once again, two days in a row. This is my lunchtime live stream. And we're waiting for some peeps. Am I late? No, you just joined. You're like the first person, MT. I'd have ran 789. What's up? Is my audio good? Hey, I already have a kid in here, so Kappa's going to come after me now. Hi. P-Dog's here. Mm. I changed the angle of the uh, camera, so better angle now. You're really picking your nose live on YouTube right now? <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Um, someone yesterday on uh, in the comments said, I look like I'm moving because I have boxes down there. Those are just like, those are Hot Toys boxes there. And then basically what I do, first of all, is my audio coming through? Can, can someone give me an audio check? Uh, a thumbs up audio check? Everything, everything coming through. Rashad, am I sounding good? Stuart, sound good? Matthew Allen from Scotland, do I sound good? Okay, cool. Audio is coming through. I can't really tell because uh, I'm using this mic and I'm I, anyway. Um, so what was I saying <laughs> before the kid came in and picked her nose on uh, on camera? All right, so that stuff there. So what I do is uh, I have all my boxes. So this question comes up a lot. People are like, do you throw away your boxes? And the, the answer is kind of um, yes and no. So for the high-end stuff, for like Solid Chikogin and Hot Toys and uh, Masterpiece scale stuff, those boxes there, I save all those boxes. I save all the instruction manuals. I save all the little accessories in the boxes. I then put those small boxes into like a plastic tote, and then they go up in the attic. Uh, so this right here is me... Uh, consolidating boxes and putting them into storable containers to go up in the attic. Um, the boxes I throw away are like Marvel Legends boxes that are not exclusives. I save the exclusive boxes for some reason. So like Walgreens exclusives, Target exclusives. So like this guy, there's the first figure you're going to see, Red Hulk. I saved his box because uh, it's Target exclusive. And I don't know, maybe I want to display it in the box sometime later down the road. So I kept his box. I kept um, the extra hands in there. And um, this will go up in the attic too. But like regular uh, Marvel Legends, especially ones that come with like Build-A-Figure parts, where I'm going to take the Build-A-Figure part out and build the figure, I'll just throw those boxes away. They just take up too much room and I can't save them all. So hopefully that answers that question that's come up many, many times in videos. Do you save your boxes? What do you do? Um, so that answers the question. And that also answers the question. I'm not moving. This is just how I consolidate stuff. Let me expand the screen here real quick because I see the comments are coming in. Already 51 people in here. Already 13 thumbs up. That's awesome. Thank you guys for that. I have some stuff I was going to talk about, specific stuff. I asked in yesterday's live stream, what do you guys want to talk about? And a couple times people mentioned movies. So I'm going to talk about Blu-rays that I've recently purchased. I'm going to talk about a new method that I am using to purchase Blu-rays. It involves not going to a store. And this might work out for people that are self-quarantining, not going out, want stuff mailed to their house. This might help you for that. So let's talk about that first. I'm going to talk about some comic books that I recently picked up. Um, if you watched a recent video, I am ceasing comic book collecting temporarily so I can catch up on reading. But I did pick up some more comic books because some of these are like the ends of story arcs. So I'm I'm finishing out story arcs. I don't want to like end on issue three of five and then I don't know how the damn story ends. So I'm going to finish some story arcs out, take a break, take a little respite from comic books, try to catch up over like the freaking summer and then uh, maybe in the fall time, I'll, I'll catch up again and start collecting again. So that's the plan with comic books. But I did pick up some. But um, here's what I'm doing for movies. So first of all, let me get the movies. I have recently uh, gotten these. But what I have changed. So what I used to do is on Tuesdays. I used to love Tuesdays because that was like new Blu-ray release day. I would go to Target. I would go to Walmart. I would go to Best Buy. I would get Steelbooks. I would get the freaking lenticular packaging, the exclusives. I stopped doing that. I stopped going out to Target, Walmart, Best Buy, and getting those exclusive Blu-rays. And what I started doing instead is I go to voodoo.com. 
Now, I am not at all sponsored by Voodoo. I freaking wish I was because I buy so many damn movies. But I'm just telling you what I do because I think this is a pretty damn cool thing to do. Uh, so Voodoo.com, V-U-D-U.com, you can buy the digital version of a movie way before the actual Blu-ray comes out. Um, but what they also do, and this is what I do, is they also do a bundle package. And for like 24 bucks for a Blu-ray or like 30 bucks for a 4K, you can get the digital code right away. So right now, they're not offering the bundle on it yet, but the finals, what was it called? Rise of Skywalker? I already freaking forgot what episode nine was called. Episode nine, Star Wars, is available on voodoo.com. I don't know, like a month before it's available on Blu-ray. And you can order it now and get the digital code and watch it uh, on like your devices, PS4, Xbox One, your computer, whatever the hell. So you can watch it right now. But the bundle, if you buy the bundle, again, for like, it's, it's usually around 25 bucks for Blu-rays, 30 bucks for like 4K. You get the digital code right away and you can watch the movie. And then whenever the movie actually releases on Blu-ray, they just send it to you in the mail. So I got this once upon a time in Hollywood. I watched this digitally on like my PS4 um, and I got the Blu-ray version. So it's like the Blu-ray digital version as well. I watched this like a month before this actually came to my house. Uh, so I got Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, was this my favorite movie of last year? I think it was my favorite movie of last year. Um, I got Knives Out. And again, for all of these, I got the bundle. So I voodoo.com, I got the digital code right away. I watched it right away. And then like a month later, they just mailed me this. And it comes with, I think, another digital code. So you could just give that to a friend. But uh, Knives Out, awesome freaking movie. I saw that with my brother in the theater. Loved it. This one, holy freaking crap. I did not see this in the theater. And I kind of regret not seeing it in the theater because this was so good. I really, really like Dr. Sleep. Um, if you liked the original Shining, it had connections to that. It's a different movie altogether. The end kind of has more connections to The Shining than the beginning of the movie. But overall, this is a badass movie. I freaking love Dr. Sleep. So I watched the digital copy again, like a month before I got that. Um, this is an older movie. I got us. I don't think I got the bundle on this one. This was just a random pickup at Target for like seven bucks on a holiday. Some For some holidays, they offer like deals on Blu-ray. So I got us. I liked this movie. Some people didn't like this. A lot of people liked Get Out but didn't like us. Joker, um, I got this one uh, on the bundle, the Voodoo bundle. Uh, Zombie Land Double Tab, right there. And then Frozen 2 for the girls. And for me, because it was a great movie. Uh, so there you go. Those are the recent, those are the recent Blu-ray pickups that I've actually gotten in hand. I did buy some digital copies though on Voodoo. And let me tell you which movies I got there. So I uh, got Parasite which I still have not seen. We need to watch that one this weekend. I got 1917. Still have not watched that. Talked to uh, Kyle. He saw it. He said it's like one of the best movies he's seen in like 10 years. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, what else did I get? Um, Uncut Gems, Adam Sandler. Uh, that was an awesome movie. He did great in that. Uh, that one really surprised me. Uh, but I got that one. It is very bright in here. I'm getting like a super freaking bright. Let me see if I can... Anyway, I'm like all washed out. Anyway, I got uh, <laughs> Uncut Gems, good movie there. And um, I, 1917, I got the bundle, so that'll be showing up soon. I think for Parasite, I got the bundle too, so I'll be getting the Blu-ray the Blu there. Anyway, guys, so there's the movie talk. I just wanted to share the Blu-rays. A lot of people were interested in what movies I'm watching, what movies I'm buying. Uh, some people asked, like, what shows to watch, what shows, uh, like, streaming shows to watch. Um the wife and I are finishing up on Jack Ryan right now on Amazon Prime. I think we're going to start Hunters uh, soon. It's a, I think it's Al Pacino's in that. We're going to start um, The Outsider on HBO. Ozarks is starting soon on the 27th, so that's next week. Uh, what did we just finish? We just finished. I don't frick remember. It'll come back to me. But those are some shows to stream. There's a lot of great shows out there. So if you're stuck in the house, if you're working from home, 
Um, check out what uh, you know Netflix has to offer, Amazon Prime, a lot of good streaming shows. Uh, so just taking a quick glance at the comments. Uh, Danilo Judd said, why no 4K? I um, get the 4K movies for like the big blockbuster movies. So, all, you know, Avengers movies, Star Wars movies, stuff like that. Um, I'll get all the 4K versions. Um, or something that just had like a ton of great like effects. I'll get the 4K versions. Um, Daryl Holt said, Parasite was excellent. Robert Chattel said, 1917 is amazing. I can't wait to watch that. Uh, Toto JR, what's up since you love your vids? Thanks for watching. And then uh, and Frank's Sideshow Hulkbuster Deluxe version. Sideshow Hulkbuster Deluxe version. I'm assuming you're talking about the Hot Toys, uh, the re-release. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick that up. I actually had the original version. And when I saw that they were resoliciting the new version with the jackhammer arm, I decided to part with it also because I had to cut down my weight and the number of stuff I was bringing to Texas. So that was one of the unfortunate ones that I had to let go. But... Um, I can I can get it again if I want. It's it's a thousand dollars, so it's quite a freaking. It's a lot of change. Uh, BJ, yes, this is the wrong porn channel. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to disappoint you. Uh, when are you gonna get a Vegas Golden Knights jersey? Uh, that's a that's like at the very top of the list, Tom. Of uh, jersey, I just got a jersey today. Actually, I just got one from Winnipeg, and it is a Winnipeg jersey. I got a Jets jersey, and this is a. Obviously, the flying skate Canucks jersey. I got Quinn Hughes on that one. But um, I and then I have one more. I, I got a New York Rangers. I know some people have been like, "Hey, when are you getting a Rangers jersey?" The New York Rangers jersey should be here. When is the nineteenth? Tomorrow? Set. Wait. Today's eighteenth. I think it's showing up tomorrow. It's a Rangers super bad Zabinajad jersey. So I got a Mika Zabinajad jersey that's on the way. Uh, looking back at the comments here. Uh, what's up, Grail640? Did you see the new Hot Toys Deluxe Mando that got announced yesterday with the child? Yes, Stuart Fulbrook. I did see that. And I'm immediately going to pre-order that one. That's that's definitely one I cannot pass up on. Uh, so now the real question is, since I'm definitely going to pre-order that, I already have the damn first Mandalorian on pre-order. The one without the Beskar steel on him. The one that's just kind of piecemealed together. My predicament now is am i going to keep that pre-order or cancel it because if i cancel it i'm out 24 dollars because they have that non-refundable deposit or do i keep it and pose it with the, the other mando i really don't need two mandalorians in my collection i just want one mandalorian with uh, the child and the one we see the most of is the one with the best gar steel so I'm, I'm leaning towards canceling the original pre-order and just being out 24 bucks. It sucks. I don't want to lose money. But at the same time, I would still owe $240 more on that payment plan. So I could forget about that and apply it to the new Mandalorian. So that's the predicament right now. Stuart Fulbrook says, can never have enough Mandos. Um, and then Mick, Michael Thomas said, cancel. So... I don't know. Let me know. Once this is done publishing, let me know in the comments. Should I cancel the original Mandalorian and apply that money that I would have spent on that to the new Mandalorian or just keep that pre-order and have two freaking Mandalorians uh, in my collection? Um, let me go over the comics real quick and then we'll talk toys because I know most of you are here for toys, action figures, stuff like that. I'm going to unbox one. I have a, a package here that I'm going to open and I'm going to share. Someone asked uh, yesterday... My favorite Marvel Legends so far this year, and I've narrowed it down to a list of two, four, six. So I'll share which six are my favorite Marvel Legends so far this year. So, um, Punisher Soviet. This is one of the mini series that I'm finishing out. It is, I think it's six issues. It used to say of six, I think. Hopefully they didn't lengthen it, but I got issue five. This is uh, Garth Ennis. So very super violent stuff, but it's Punisher, so you can expect that. Thor, I want to finish the first arc here. Uh, this one, he is fighting Sif. So finishing that arc, Donny Cates. I still haven't read issue one, so everyone says it's really great. So hopefully it is when I actually get a chance to reading it. I got Venom, Venom Island. This is another arc that I'm finishing out. This is part four. I don't know how many freaking parts this is. <laughs> hopefully it's not like 12. Uh, hopefully it's, um, relatively short cause I need to, I need to take a break from comic. I need to take a break from buying comics. 
I'm not going to take a break from reading comics, but uh, there's Venom. Pretty cool cover. I think that's a Bagley cover. Yes, Mark Bagley. Excellent artist of Spider-Man and Venom. I'm kind of keeping a side eye on the uh, comments here, so if something comes up, I can talk about that. X-Men. This is the one. If I was going to cancel everything and leave like maybe two titles, this is one of the ones I would leave because every single issue has been like a self-contained one-shot, basically. Uh, it's not in like overarching arc. I, I don't think I used English properly there, but it's not like a continuous storyline. I mean, it's it's like a grand storyline about stuff going on with mutants on Krakoa, but every issue of X-Men has been like a really good self-contained story. Jonathan Hickman's the writer. It looks like they're fighting the brood in this issue here. So again, if I was to just keep maybe one or two titles active, it would be X-Men and Batman. Because Batman apparently has gotten really, really good since Tinian took over. And then here's the final comic that in my uh, that I picked up. A Hulk. Uh, this is an arc where he's just starting to face off against this dude. And this dude, I like the story behind this one. Because this guy, they borrowed the storyline from another story elsewhere. But this guy is like convincing people telepathically that he is the Hulk. And he was the original Hulk and the Hulk doesn't exist and the Hulk's a bad guy. So it's a really kind of cool freaking mind F of a story. And I can't remember his damn name. But um, Immortal Hulk, 32. There's the comics. Let's talk about figures. Uh, and I'm going to look at the comments real quick. I apologize if I missed anyone popping on. Uh, so let's see. We have 105 people right now. This is fun. As long as I have stuff to talk about, we'll make this a daily thing, at least this week. Maybe next week, too. I don't know. I just don't want to run out of topics to talk about. But uh, let's see. Let me just take a look here. I'm going to just take a, a random shot at the com at the comments here. Uh, Knight of Ren says save physical media. So he is all about buying Blu-rays, physical Blu-rays. Stuart Fulberg says Dr. Sleep was much better than I expected. Robert Chattel said Knives Out is a hoot. Great movie. T-Man. What's up, T-Man? T-Man says if digital media ends, I'm screwed. He must have a huge collection. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Narc's in here somewhere. Someone added Narc, so I can't find his comment here. And then we have uh, Kappa, Kappa Police here again. What's up, P-Dog? Hi. Hi. Still in her jammies. Mm. I think they've, uh, no, you changed last night. Yeah, they, they wore the same <laughs> pajamas for like two days straight. <laughs> uh, but what are you doing right now? Uh, watching my videos. Watching her videos. Daddy. Yes. After you finish this video, can mm -hmm. you give me a corn dog? Absolutely. We'll have lunch as soon as I'm done here. Uh, and she wants a corn dog. So I will definitely make you a corn dog, P Dog, as soon as I'm done here. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Little cameo appearance there. Kappa, don't come after me, please. This video is not intended for people under 14 or is it 13? I don't know. Anyway, let me catch up on the comments here. Um, this is take my mind off things. Appreciate you, Cincy. No problem, Jedi Howard. This is what I'm doing this for. I figured there's a lot of people working from home. There's a lot of people just at home not working. So there's a lot of stuff on people's minds right now that's bothering them. It's a stressful time. So I figured why not talk about stuff that makes us happy? Movies, comics, and action figures. So uh, yeah, yesterday someone asked my favorite Marvel legend of the year and I said this guy and he's up there. I don't really have like a top like a ranking. I just have, I've narrowed it down to six figures. I really like so far this year. Red Hulk is one of them. I don't know if it was so much the chase and trying to find this damn thing as much as how much I like the figure itself. I'll tell you one thing I really freaking love about new Hulk figures. And this goes for the gray Hulk, the green Hulk with the Wolverine is butterfly joints in the freaking shoulders. Look at that. Look at how much movement he has. I don't know why you would want his arms that far back, but he's got butterfly joints now. This is fan freaking tastic. This is an awesome figure. There's the face sculpt. If my focus wants to work. Uh, the only other thing that I think would have been really, really cool is another face sculpt. Another head with a different face sculpt that's not like uh, Thaddeus Thunderbolt snarling there. But um, 
that would have been the only other thing that I would have probably wanted in this uh, figure. It's 30 bucks. It's a lot of plastic for 30 bucks. It's a great figure. I hope you you can all find it. I know it's hard as hell to find. Uh, but that's in the top six Marvel Legends of the year so far. Thing, this was the other one that I talked about. This is the Fantastic Four Wave Thing. And I really, really love this figure. I love the paint on it. At first, when I saw pictures, I was like, I don't really like the paint because I don't like how, like, this is a different tone than this. But it looks really good. There's the back of the figure, by the way. Look at the freaking paint, the sculpt work. That just looks awesome. So Thing is in the top six. This was another one that you saw yesterday. Shang-Chi doing a little flying karate kick move. Um, I like to, this is probably the most fun figure to pose and just to play with, I guess, to pose your, uh, your action figures. This is just an awesome figure. So Shang-Chi is up there. Dr. Doom up there. I've been wanting a Dr. Doom figure and updated Dr. Doom figure for a long, long time. I love that he comes with the two head sculpts, one with like a more kind of Palpatine looking hood and one with a more classic looking hood, which I don't have the extra head sculpt out right now, but this figure is freaking badass and I like it. And he still has a little Luger, even though he can shoot energy blasts out of his hands. He still needs a Luger apparently. And then uh, let's see this guy right here, which I am giving away by the way, episode 345. I am giving this figure, not this figure, one that I haven't opened yet. Monster Venom, I'm giving that away probably in tomorrow's stream or Friday's stream. And uh, yeah, if you didn't catch yesterday's stream, I, I'm actually doing like a second and third place also. I have some random figures that you can choose from if you get picked for second or third. Uh, and then first we'll, we'll get this one unless you don't want this and you want one of the second or third place figures. But Monster Venom is up there. I like this one because a lot of posing options. Right now he's hunched over. You can have him standing more straight up. The head is cool because you can like, when he's hunched over, like you can hunch him over that much and have the head. See how much the head is bent there and he's hunched over? Just looks like a freaking beast right there. And then you can have him more straight up and then put the head down and he's more tall. This is an awesome figure. So this was also 30 bucks. Um, so definitely, I recommend this. Absolutely recommend this Monster Venom figure. And then the last figure, in my, I guess, top six Marvel Legends of the year so far, if I can get this freaking Venom to stand without falling, is this Build-A-Figure, this Super Scroll. I just like this figure a lot. Um, I like the clear plastic for the invisible arm. Uh, the flame effect is cool. It's just a good-looking figure. It's a cool Build-A-Figure. So there's the top six Marvel Legends of the year so far. I have not found any of the Black Widow wave. I'm not sure which ones I will pick up. I kind of need to see those in person. I'm leaning towards getting the movie Taskmaster, uh, maybe the Bucky comic version, and maybe the Crossbones comic version. I, I want to see those in person, though. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, this is uh, just outside the top six. This She-Hulk really, really surprised me. This thing. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus on this girl. Nope, not Josh Pensett. How does he get that to work? I can never get that to work. Uh, this She-Hulk is freaking awesome. Great sculpt, great paint, great articulation, just awesome. So this is this is just outside the top six, I guess. If I did a top seven, she'd be in the top seven. So let's look at the comments now. Let's see if I can uh, catch up here. Um, I was going to open this one up. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll get to the comments in just a second. I have till one. That's when my lunch ends. So let me do this. I'm going to try and cut the tape here and open this sucker up while looking at the comments. So I don't want to freaking cut my hand open. How the frick does this open? Good Lord. Up at the top where I was not cutting. And there's more tape. So these are Earthrise figures. Um, where are her pants? Whose pants? <laughs> She-Hulk's? 
Um, so here's how it looks out of the box. And the best way I can describe this is probably the best interpretation of a G1 figure that Hasbro has ever done. Besides, of course, G1, because there's nothing better than G1, right? But this is amazing. It looks like, I know it's made of plastic and it doesn't have die cast and it's not as well made, but to me, it looks like a little freaking mini masterpiece figure. Let me take it out real quick. The thing that I miss the most about the old Transformers figures from the 80s is uh, the use of die cast and the fact that they just felt really well made. Uh, if I have a criticism of current figures nowadays, of current Transformers figures, they feel freaking hollow. Uh, real light. It's super light, just hollow plastic, but that takes nothing away from how it looks. This thing looks freaking amazing. This is hoist. So let me show you that. Oh, there's the focus. It wants to focus, and then it doesn't want to. Um, I could have done without this weather, this weathering right here. I think you can wipe that off. Some people take like uh, cotton swabs with like I don't know if it's like a uh, rubbing alcohol or paint thinner or, or what, but uh, they rub that off so that it looks it's got a more clean look to it. But this thing looks fantastic. This is hoist and. Let me give him his little gun here. If I can get the damn thing in his hand. Fans Toys uses die cast all the time. Yeah, Juggernaut Jones said that. My preference with Transformers is always going to be Masterpiece or Masterpiece Scale Transformers. I think Fans Toys is probably the best uh, third-party uh, Masterpiece Scale company. Uh, there's some other good ones. X Transbots has gotten really good. Um, make toys is pretty good. DX line that Omega Supreme, if I can point to it, that Omega Supreme is a uh, DX nine and it's awesome. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty good right here for a $20 or whatever this costs, 24 bucks plastic toy. This looks fantastic. And there's the back, not too much back kibble as a transfers reviewer would say, not too much kibble. But there you go. There's Hoist out of the package. I'm not even going to try and transform this thing because I have 32 minutes left and I would take all freaking 32 minutes to transform this thing because I suck at transforming. I still use the instructions or I use YouTube videos. I'll watch a T-Man video to figure out how to freaking transform these things. Uh, but there you go. <laughs> it's a, uh, and just looking at the uh, articulation real quick. It'd be cool if they start doing double jointed elbows. These are single jointed elbows, as you could see there. And double jointed knees, so there you go. So it's got that going on, kicking its own butt. And it's got obviously a thigh cut. And does it have ankle rocker? Ooh, look at that. Ankle rocker in a Transformers figure. Pretty awesome. So there you go. There's a hoist. I wanted to open something on here. I have a package here I'm going to open up as well, and then we'll get to comments, and then we'll just hang out for a, a while. All right, so this is a package from uh, Luis, my buddy Luis. He has a YouTube uh, channel, I Spy 0099 He does uh, product reviews, but he reached out to me. He was collecting uh, pops around the same time that I was collecting pops. So we watched each other's channels and stuff. But he, he reached out to me because he said that he had some uh, old DVDs that he wasn't watching anymore. So he was going to send them, send them to me because I I don't even remember at this point which DVDs they were. I think they were, oh, freaking A. Hell yes. So Luis, you're the freaking man, dude. All right, let me just read this real quick. Hey there, I wanted to pass on some DVDs to bring back some memories i hope you enjoy them thanks for the great content and keep uh keep it coming your friend louise i spy 0099 um check out his channel he reviews all kinds of products and stuff but some of these are still in package so this is freaking amazing oh my god holy crap all right i'm just gonna start showing you what is in here so first of all 
uh, G.I. Joe. This is how many episodes? Seasons one, season one point one and two, I guess. Discs five, six, seven, and eight. So a buttload of G.I. Joe cartoons for me to watch. Hell yes. This is awesome. This is holy crap. Captain and the Game Master, the complete series. Who remembers this cartoon from the 80s? Is that freaking Kid Icarus right there? Man, this is crazy. Another Captain N and the Game Master. This is going to bring back some memories because I don't even remember. I'm going to start remembering it as I watch it. Uh, TMNT Kelbunga Classics, so some TMNT cartoons. We got He Man and the Masters of the Universe. The uh, 10 episode collector's edition. Badass. There's He Man up there in front of Grayskull. This is freaking cool. Luis, you're freaking awesome, dude. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Uh, I mean, dude. Masters of the Universe movie. How could you give this up, man? This is badass. I just got the figures. I just got the uh, God Skeletor, the golden one. And I got the uh, the He-Man, the Dolph. I still need to get the, uh, I think it's called Despot Skeletor, the, the regular one. I still need to get that one. Another G.I. Joe DVD right there. This is something they never produced. They never, ever made a... Why do I keep looking at the screen when I should be looking right there? They never, ever made a flint uh, in the cartoon colors. His shirt was green. Um... The figure was like a like a dark navy blue or black. They never made a cartoon version of Flint. They need to do that. I'm not sure what this is, but I'll look at that in a second. This one is the one that I freaked out about. What the frick? Cops? And not bad boys, what you gonna do? This is the freaking cartoon Cops from the 80s. I used to love this show. I didn't even know they made this on DVD. This is crazy. Is this the whole series? This is the whole freaking series. 22 original episodes and special features. Holy crap, man. And then the, uh, a couple more things in here. Conan, who can't, who can, who can, how can you go wrong? I can't even talk right now. I'm so freaking flabbergasted. Uh, Conan the Complete Quest. So it's, I guess, Barbarian and Destroyer. Yes, it is. So it's Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer. Arnold. And then he sent some stuff here. So there's his channel, I Spy 0099. And then he sent me a little button, too. Hell yes. Freaking awesome, dude. You rock. And then... There you go, guys. Product testing and reviews. YouTube.com slash iSpy0099. I am, uh, you know what? I can stay in the house and never leave the house and wait for coronavirus to pass, and I'll have a freaking ton of stuff to watch. I'm not sure what this is. Let me see what this is. Oh, it's that's pretty cool. Is that like a drink coaster? It's like a little circular uh, cardboard thing. Badass, dude. You rock. Um, let's check the comments now. 131 people watching. 55 thumbs up. Thank you very, very much for the thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch. Uh, I'm going to steal something from Sammy Guevara. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch uh, a little bit of my day. I think that's how he says it. Uh, he's a wrestler, by the way, and he is a YouTuber. He's an excellent YouTuber, by the way. Uh, let's see here. BTT 1216. Dude, I missed cops figures. Cops figures. Yeah. Maybe I'll start collecting the cops figures, the vintage figures. I'm starting to get really into the GI Joe vintage stuff. I just picked up uh, a ferret. Can you see it? No, you cannot see it. But I got the little four wheeler, the Cobra four wheeler, the ferret. And I have both Tomax and Zaymont on it right now. Uh, let's see here. Manly Stubrick. First of all, that's an awesome handle. Uh, yes, man. New watcher. Great channel. Uh, let's see. 
Ramsey's Escamilla, you're awesome since you keep loading vids. Stuart Fulbrook knows Sammy Guevara, the Spanish god. Any new Mythic Legions? Uh, can you see them down there? I made an entire shelf of Mythics, right? Let's see if I can get this right. There. So I got the two, if I can get this right. Ogres, not trolls, in the back. I've got freaking Bolthar the Tower right there. I've got Mini Seamus right there, and then I got... A freaking uh, badass chick. I forgot her name. Cassia. That's her name right there. Those are the uh, newest mythics that I have. Um, I am going to be uh, building up my, I guess, barbarians and goblins. Uh, but those are the ones that I have right now. Snake Eyes is shipping. So Christopher Kelly says Snake Eyes is shipping. I have not gotten my notice. Have a Holy frick. I just got it. Let's see it. Hold on. Holy crap. So G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes Deluxe Action Figure. Good news, your order will be ready to ship earlier than expected. Your new estimated ship date is March 19th. Tomorrow! Sorry, I'm getting a little excited here. Your form of payment will be charged at this time. So, hell yes, Christopher Kelly. That was very timely for me to see that comment because I literally just looked over my email and saw that email. I just got it. That's badass. So uh, I guess you guys will be seeing Snake Eyes on this channel very, very soon. Should ship tomorrow. Hell yes. Shipping with Corona. I will disinfect the freaking crap out of that figure. Spray the frick out of it with Lysol. Just freaking douse it with Purell. Double wash the hands. Maybe use some plastic gloves. Put on a little freaking thing over my face. Uh, wish uh, Mrs. Cincy and uh, Tay Tay luck right now because they're actually out right now. Uh, they went to Target to get supplies. So hopefully they don't get any nasty out there uh big little j2496 just got that same email so yeah if you pre-ordered that uh deluxe snake eyes from hasbro check your email right now because you probably just got the same email that i got uh so th there you go badass same date for my order too snake eyes i'm freaking looking forward to it i'm gonna open this other package here because uh, i have uh 22 minutes i'm going to a one I'm using my lunch time to do this every day, at least during the week, during the work week. I don't know if I'm going to do it on the weekend. I might. Depends how bored I am. Uh, I probably will not be that bored since I just got a freaking box full of awesome from Luis. All those classic cartoons and some movies. I was not expecting the movies, dude. Masters of the Universe movie and freaking Conan. Uh-oh, there's peanuts in here. There's styrofoam peanuts in here. All right, so this one. This one is from John, John Simonson. And I think I know what's in here. He found a figure that I was looking for. I was not finding it at all up here. And he found, yes, he did. Let's see if I can get this out without getting all these peanuts out. So shout out to John. I gotta send him a little something, some trade, trade action. But here we go. The weather here is kind of weird. It's been uh, going from rain to sun, rain to sun here in the Dallas area. So uh, if you're in the North Texas area, Dallas. You know what the weather's all about. And bam, oops, I did it again. Brittany, bitch. So yeah, I got two more Stepford Cuckoos. There were five, weren't there? I know there's three in the comic, but they had like two like estranged sisters in the comics. But I think there were five. Let's see if it says anything on the back. It does not. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have one with each of the head sculpts. Because now I have four, or if I'm just going to have all of them with the blonde hair. Because in, in some of the comics, here's the back art, in some of the comics, they all just have the blonde hair. Uh, they kind of like were mimicking Emma Frost. And then um, in some of the comics, they have like the, the red hair and the dark hair and stuff. So freaking awesome. Thank you, John. That's badass. I have some cuckoos now. Uh, so let's get to the comments because that's all i had um i gotta save some stuff for uh tomorrow and friday unboxing i'll 
probably be unboxing um, Grapple. I have a Starscream Earthrise. I'll be opening the uh, Cuckoo. Show you that thing out of package. This guy's awesome. Uh, shout out from Malaysia. I saw that before uh, the message disappeared. Uh, Captain Shango got one cuckoo for $10 at Walgreens. I'm not sure if that sale's still going on, but yeah, Walgreens had a really awesome sale on uh, Marvel Legends. I don't know if it's on all figures, all toys, but check out your Walgreens if you're looking for some Marvel Legends because apparently, I don't know if it's still on, but they're cheap, super cheap. I don't. I got to make sure I don't have that spit hanging from my mouth like I did yesterday. I rewatched my stream. I'm like, I have freaking spit on my mouth. That's disgusting. And I freaking don't have. Oh, I do have a water here. So let me drink some of that while I read some of these comments here. Hey man, Mike from Buffalo here. I love the Rip and Pucks channel. Keep the great content coming. Thank you very much, MJR1974. I actually have a uh, a box. It's a retail box. Upper Deck Series 2 1920 Hockey. It's uh, one of those mega boxes, so it's got like 12 packs in it. It's got the SP die cut pack in it. I'll be doing that on that channel. So a little cheap plug for hockey fans uh, to watch Rip and Pucks, my other channel. Uh, let's see, let's see. IE said we're all going cuckoo, cuckoo. Sean Rose, what G1 Transformers you have? Megatron. Um, I don't think I have any G1 right now. I need to build my G1 collection. I used to have a few. I had like Blitzwing and I had all the triple changers. I had the mini bots, um, but they've come and gone. They mostly went when I was a kid. And uh, I don't I don't even remember what happened to a lot of the toys I had when I was a kid. Uh, it's sad, but I do need to rebuild that collection. Blue Sun, that was not a Britney Spears figure. <laughs> that was a step for Cuckoo. I make that joke um, because she's wearing a schoolgirl outfit like Britney Spears did in the Oops, I Did It Again video. It's the Stepfords from X-Men. So I will probably not make that joke anymore since I've done it like three times now. What's my most wanted six inch Cobra? Uh, Zartan. I want a uh, original looking Zartan. Um, I'm excited for the new GI Joe figures only because I know that eventually we'll get the vintage looks. I will buy like the Duke and the Roadblock and Scarlet. I think they look good. They do look modernized, but I want the original looks in six inch form as well. So I know that eventually we'll get those. Um, but I want a Zartan, the original looking Zartan. Uh, I want it to look just like the freaking vintage figure with the, the mask with the guy with the beard and the freaking swamp speeder. I know that's, that's a lot to ask for, but that's what I want. So Zartan, because that was my favorite. I think that was my favorite Cobra figure as a kid. I had Storm Shadow. He was one of my favorites. Firefly was a favorite. Uh, Scrap Iron was a favorite. But Zartan was the one I, I think I played with the most. He had that Swamp Skier. Such a badass figure. I want that vintage figure, by the way. Tomax and Zaymont would be cool, too. I really like them. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Sean Ween. Cincy, do you have a baseball hat on with a hockey? Yeah, I, I do. I have my uh, Chicago Cubs. A lot of people don't know what this is. Um, but this is a Chicago Cubs hat with this bear guy, and I have my Canucks jersey on. I didn't really match the hat and jersey uh, before. I, the only reason I put this hat on is because I do look washed out right now because of the sun, uh, but the freaking glare off my – I just shaved my head this morning too, so uh, the glare was just like ridiculous, so I had to put a hat on. Let's see if I can – Get less washed out. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Any videos on either channel coming out soon? Yeah, I got to do that unboxing on my Rip and Pucks channel. I haven't done a video on there in a little while. I do have a video that I shot. I opened up a box of SP Game Used. Had a great box, but I have to edit that tonight and put that up there on Rip and Pucks. Um, I'm probably going to be doing live videos on this channel uh, for the next, I don't know, this week at least, maybe next week. So a lot of live videos, um, and then I'm going to do a showcase video. I, I'm going to showcase a bunch of stuff. Uh, it depends on what I showcase in these live videos. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, I.E., hey, since you're going to collect the Master of the Universe line from Mattel, I am. I'm going to be uh, picky and choosy with that because I do have I, – I very much value my 
Motu Classics right there. So I'm going to pick and choose the, my favorite characters. I'm not going to buy them all. I'm not going to be a completist. Uh, but yes, I will collect them. I'm just not going to buy them all because I've decided that the Motu Classics will be my go-to He-Man slash Masters of the Universe collection. Uh, let's see. Where the frick was I? These comments keep jumping. 142 freaking people. Thumbs up to all of you that are watching from home, that are working from home, that are just at home, that are at home with the kids, hanging out. I hope you guys are staying busy. I hope you guys are staying healthy. I hope you guys are staying not hungry. <laughs> Hopefully you're getting all the food and stuff that you need from the stores. Go early. I gave that advice yesterday. I showed up uh, 10 minutes before my freaking uh, grocery store opened and I got all the stuff we needed. The problem is that my kids are eating machines and usually they're at school, but they're here and they're literally going through food like there's no tomorrow. It's crazy. I like have to start rationing them because I bought them a box of like freaking Twinkies or Zingers. They finished the entire box in two days. Ridiculous. First of all, they were on sugar highs. They're running around like crazy people, but yeah. There's my dad advice. If you're at home and you're watching the kids and you've got food, ration your children. Because <laughs> if they're anything like my kids, they're going to go through that food so freaking fast. If there ever is really an apocalypse, I'm screwed because we're going to run out of food in like three days. Where the frick was I in these comments? How weird is it going to be seeing the... So it's weird that uh, the, the question, Lord Luigi 23, is how weird is it going to be seeing the Patriots without a Brady next year? It's going to be even more weird seeing him in a Buccaneers jersey. No offense to the Bucs. I used to live in Jacksonville, Florida, so I was a fan of all the Florida teams. But seeing him in a Buccaneers jersey is just going to be freaking weird. It's like seeing Joe Montana in a Chiefs jersey. And if you're too young to remember that, yes, Joe Montana, the 49ers Hall of Famer, played for the Chiefs and didn't really do much. At least, at least I don't remember him doing much. But it's just going to be weird seeing him. I was expecting him to sign with the Chargers because – He's from California. He has a house in Malibu, probably driving distance to where he'd be playing. But monetarily and economically and financially, it makes sense that he signs in Florida. Because for those that don't know, there is no state income tax in Florida. So with him signing a $30 million contract, I don't know how much of that money is guaranteed. I'm assuming a large chunk of that is guaranteed money. He is not paying a single penny in state income tax to the state of Florida. Because like Texas, and I think there's another state. Is it Nevada? Is it Tennessee? I don't remember. I know Texas, we don't pay state income tax here. So your check, when I, when we moved down here, our checks were a little bit more because we're not paying. Anyway, I'm going off on a freaking non-toy related tangent. Nevada, Liz says. Um, these live streams, man. I just go off. You're going to tune into Mania? Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be weird as hell watching that too. For those that don't know, WrestleMania is happening this year with no audience. So that's going to be weird. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to do NXT TakeOver with no audience and the WWE Hall of Fame. Well, obviously, the WWE Hall of Fame would be the audience is usually comprised of other wrestlers and uh, their families. But I, I don't know if they can legally do that because I think that in many states, they're, they're not allowing people to have group gatherings of more than 10 people. I don't know. I don't know all the details, but that might be audienceless too. Everything's going to be freaking weird until this thing's gone. Let me see if I can catch up since I went off so much on tangents. Keep it collector. Holy ass at 645 AM here in New Zealand. Shout out to New Zealand and to Kiwi collector for being here at 645 in the morning. Uh, Anne Marie, what's up? Get some meal replacement shakes for yourself if the kids are running through snacks. So that's a good idea. BTT1216 said that. Uh, I'm in Florida. It really is strange that he's coming here, Captain Shango said. He's got the AFC. He's got to the AFC championship. Oh, those new Bucks jerseys are ugly as all ass. <laughs> it will be super weird. I think they look at, I, I kind of like modern looking jerseys. They're not that bad, um, but it's just going to be weird seeing him in anything but a Patriots jersey. He's been playing, if my memory is correct, he was a rookie in the year 2000. So he's been playing for the Patriots for 20 years. I think that's when he was a rookie. His rookie card is ridiculous now. 
But I've made this observation. I don't think anyone here kind of cares for it, but uh, if a player changes teams and their rookie card is with their previous team, the rookie card goes down in value because I've noticed that with hockey cards. Let's say, uh, well, let's just use Tom Brady as an example. He started with the Patriots. His rookie card is in a Patriots uniform. He now plays for the Buccaneers. I'm sure it'll still hold its value, but it's going to go down just a tad bit because he no, no longer plays for that team. Anytime a player changes teams and their rookie card is in their in a different team jersey the card goes down in value a little bit uh let's see let's see favorite marvel character that you just love tm the collector asked favorite marvel character that i just love cyclops i've always liked cyclops as a character i've, I've liked his look i've liked all of his uh uniforms all the figures i collect all the cyclops figures um, Wolverine's the same one. Um, just a huge fan of, uh, of the X-Men in general. WWE Raw was very awkward without an audience. Yes, it, it very much was. <laughs> it's weird. I'm surprised you're not hearing them, uh, call the match because when the wrestlers are in the ring, a lot of times it's impromptu and they're literally telling the other guy, Hey, you know, I'm going to do a, a clothesline or whatever. Flying knee, I don't know, whatever. They're calling the match as they're doing the moves in the ring. It's uh, impromptu. So I'm surprised you're not hearing them do that more. Um, here in Florida, people are still going to the beaches, Michael Thomas says. Uh, how come we are now 179 people together? Cheers from Toronto, David De La Huerta says. Uh, Alberto Mata. What's up, brother? Big ass fan of your channel. Thanks for watching, Albe Alberto Del Rio. I'm stuffing my face full of food right now, Sarah Ween says. The black jersey is clean, Captain Shango says. The Canucks jersey. How much time do I have? Seven minutes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. If you have any questions, ask them right now because I'm at the bottom of the comments. It skipped down to the bottom, so I'm just reading them as they're popping up here. Are you getting the Mafex Cyclops? I thought about it since he's one of my favorite characters. Um, I have one actually on the way. I should be getting that, I think, this weekend from Amazon. By the way, don't believe the, <laughs> the rumors that Amazon is not shipping stuff because there's a freaking buttload of fake news out there right now because people are trying to scare each other. Amazon's still shipping stuff. Uh, I, still, I got something today. I'm getting batteries tomorrow. I'm getting a freaking... The figure I'm getting is the Mafex Spider-Man, the comic cell shaded uh, version. I think it's still 65 bucks on Amazon. So it's a hell of a deal. And that's showing up, I think, this weekend. So I think the next Mafex Marvel figure that I'm going to buy is probably going to be Venom, just so it has, although if they do a cell shaded version of Venom, that'd be pretty badass. Uh, probably Venom then. I hear a lot of people don't like the Wolverine, though. I don't know any specifics, but I've just heard that. Jedi Howard 22. Cyclops is my third all-time behind Spider-Man and Iceman. By the way, I saw a listing, and hopefully this is going to happen. I saw a listing. Uh, I just heard a horn honk. Um, I saw a listing for... Um, I lost my train of thought. I think it was a three-pack. It was a Spider-Man. And what they're kind of hinting at is Firestar and Iceman in six-inch form? So Spider-Man and his amazing friends? Hell freaking yes. That is uh, one of my most requested Marvel Legends packs that I've ever had because I used to love that cartoon Saturday mornings when I was a kid. So Firestar, Iceman, Spider-Man, hopefully in their classic looks from Spider-Man and, uh, and his amazing friends, or is it and the amazing friends and his. I'm wondering what that horn honking is. Uh, let's see. Did you get the Mezco far from home Spidey? No, I missed out on that. I think that was a Mezco exclusive and I, I didn't order that. So, uh, T-Man did a review on that. It looks really good though. So check out T-Man 978 for his review on that. Did you get the Mafex Wolverine since he, it is the best? No, I didn't get that one, but let me know. I, I've heard that people didn't like it for some reason. I forgot which reviewer it was didn't like it, but, uh, if you said it's good, I'm going to check it out. Getting Commander Cody Hot Toys, thinking about getting it. It's uh, my first hot toy, uh, Blake Lanier said. It looks great. 
but I don't know if I'd have room for it in my shelves because the way that I'm doing my hot toys right now for Star Wars is two per detail shelf. And I currently have Obi-Wan with Anakin. Um, because the Anakin is the Sith eyes one. So I kind of have them both together like it's they're doing the duel at the end. If I got Commander Cody, it would probably go on a shelf with Obi-Wan. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I got four minutes left. Uh, let's see. With the Mezco Gambit coming out sometime, I'm really hoping Mezco continues with the Jim Lee style and they give us Rogue to go with Gambit. I'd love to see a freaking Rogue, a Psylocke. You know what I really want to see? Someone asked this uh, the other day as well. Uh, Marvel Legends that I want to see. I started reading comic books with, if you remember it, the Outback X-Men. The X-Men were based in Australia for a short period of time. People thought they were dead. I think from the fall of the mutant storyline, which happened right after the mutant massacre. Uh, so they were based in Australia. Gateway would teleport them to different locations. And the team consisted of uh, Colossus, uh, Rogue, Wolverine, Havoc, Storm, Dazzler, Longshot. Let me know if I forgot anyone. But I am looking for, and I would love if uh, they would do those versions of the X-Men. The black suit Storm can be the Storm from the Outback X-Men. We need a rogue from that look. The Wolverine is the brown suit Wolverine. We need an updated Havoc because the last Havoc that looked like that with the big white bands on his head was by Toy Biz, I believe. I don't think that was Hasbro. Uh, we definitely need a Colossus because the Colossus from that era uh, literally was dressed like Zangief from Street Fighter. He just had underwear on and boots. Uh, no shirt. Um, Psylocke had a hood and a mask, I think. Light purple outfit. Uh, and then there's Longshot, who was my favorite character back then. And um, we need a new Longshot because the last one is Toy Biz, and that one kind of sucks now. So, yeah, I would love it. If anyone from Hasbro is watching this live stream, I would love it if you guys did the Outback X-Men from the late 80s, specifically like 89-ish era, 88-ish, 88, 89-ish era. Just put, uh, look at X-Men, Uncanny X-Men 235 to like 239 for the looks of those characters. Toy Biz Longshot is trash, says Drew Manchu. You pre-order the Mezco Popeye and Bluto set. No, I did not, uh, J.D. Gibson, but it looks awesome. Are you getting the Hot Toys Endgame Captain America? I thought about that yesterday because I've been collecting all of the um, Infinity War Hot Toys figures. And I don't want to get all the Endgame figures. So I was going back and forth between getting characters that I don't have figures of right now. Specifically Nebula and um, Ronin. Hawkeye Ronin. Because I think that looks great. Uh, or just going with the big three from Endgame. And that would be Thor, Bro Thor. Is it Bro Thor or Fat Thor? What are we calling him now? What's the PC term for uh, him? Uh, Thor, uh, Snap and Tony. And then uh, Worthy Cap. I'm leaning towards the big three for my end game display. I'm not going to get Thanos. I'm happy with the Thanos I have up there. But um, that's what I'm leaning towards. Do I like the Black Widow trailer? Yes, I uh, love the Black Widow trailer. I can't wait to see it. I hope uh, I, it was supposed to be a, like a birthday weekend thing for me because my birthday is on May 3rd. And usually, I don't know why, but Marvel tends to release a movie around May 2, 3, 4, 5-ish time. Uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen now, so sucks for me. But I'll eventually see Black Widow, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, need more Reavers. Hell yes, Mr. Imagination, we definitely need more Reavers. It is 1 o'clock. i got to wrap this up. Thank you guys for being a part of this. I have 137 people now. Uh, I, I technically have, I was going to go a full hour, so I have 45 seconds. Thank you guys for being part of this. I'm going to do this every day. I'm going to be here same time tomorrow, probably noonish, uh, maybe a little bit later. I got to drop my car off and get a oil change or pick it up, whatever, around noonish. Uh, but please join me tomorrow, and we'll talk about more figures. Probably not more comics because I don't have more comics to show you. Probably not more movies, but give me some more topics. What do you want to talk about? Um, We'll talk about stuff. 
Uh, but let's see. Let's see. Alexander Nielsen, thanks for spending your lunch with us. Absolutely. Uh, Michael Thomas, see, I can't eat lunch because the kids ate it all. Uh, Captain Shango liked the video, guys. Yes, thank you, Captain Shango, because the more people that thumbs up, uh, the more this will be seen, and then the more uh, people will be uh, watching this thing and having fun with us. Get Ronan, come on. I'm going back and forth. It's between Nebula and Ronan or the big three, so I need to figure it out because I really like the Nebula and Ronan. I got to wrap it up, guys. It's past an hour. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And stay healthy and coronavirus-free.